controlling your frontal lobe. That's where you are going to. Anasema, a tree. You see that tree? That is a practical example. Kwa nini niangukia huku? Kwa nini haikuangukia the other side? It was leaning towards this side, isn't it? Yes. So, where your, where, whoever is taking charge of your frontal lobe, huko ndiyo utangukia, isn't it? So, if it is God who is in control of your frontal lobe, God is going to control every part of you. Be it money, be it time, be it your speech, because all these, they are talents that God has given us. By the way, there's a nice book. I don't know if our liturgy evangelist has it there. Yeah. It is called Christ Object Lesson. And on chapter 25, it's talking about talents. It has talent. It has time. It has mental faculty. It has speech. It has everything that you may think of that God has given us. So when you have money, you know that money is a talent. Money is something that God has given us to use it for his glory. Sindio? Yes. When you have the talent of speech, when you are speaking, you know that speaking, speech is a talent. When you have time, in fact, when you read that book called Christ Object Lesson, it says that of all the talents that God has given us, he's going to require us to give an account on how we spent our time. Strict account on time management. So today we are looking at what? Time, finance, mental faculty. These things, they are tying each other. When you have the mental faculty, you can have meka apa. See if you are a lady, every time, please call me. Please call me. You cannot think of anything that you can even find a 10 bob. That is not right. Sindio? Meaning, what is happening to your mental faculty? Hmm? Una, una tu matu at reversco. When you receive this, year, it's a reversco. No, 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 no. At least you have to do something with your hands, even while you are here. Sindio? I love where I come from. By the way, I come from Zambia. That's why Nasema wed, Nasema church, Nasema, <laughs> Nasema work. <laughs> Instead of work, Sindio? Yes. Sasa, Nasema faculty. <laughs> so, in Zambia, when you are having a camp meeting like this, there's always a program for entrepreneurship. Amen? Amen? I came from Zambia. I got married to a Kenyan. I was working in Zambia, having a very good job. I even had a driver. But I got... <laughs> look at this. Right. <laughs> but when I got married, I decided either I'll stay in Zambia and then to find a correspondence marriage. Oh, yeah, yeah, resign Uku, Akuja, and join Zambi. So, who was supposed to resign between the two of us? <laughs> so, <laughs> I had to come to Kenya. I didn't know Kiswahili. I, I just spoke English. And when I say, Good morning, Mutatanuliza, where una toka wapi? When in Kenya, Kweli. Now, I had to learn the language. Amen? Because speech is a talent. So I learned the language, and I learned how to maneuver in Kenya, and how to have money. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Not corruption. <laughs> Sindio. So even when you are here, because where I come from, camp meeting, they used to teach us entrepreneurship. And I've been an Adventist. I've passed through Adventist youths, and then I was a master guide. And when you are becoming a master guide, there are those honors that you learn. One of the honors, it's gardening. At who? Gardening. In a honor. You know that you can have a kitchen garden and sell things and people are making money. Now you're saying who? <laughs> okay. So the honors, there's chairmanship. So you can know how to lead people. There's not tying. In the time of emergency, you need to know. Yes. There's Christian storytelling. You have to know how to engage with your audience. Sindio? Yes. So all those honors before you become a master guide, that is in Zambia. I don't know how they do it here. So you have to do those honors, and then you do, you do the heritage, and you do all those things. So when I came here, I have to find my way out. Because 
coming from a working environment and to become a housewife, it was difficult. Cindy, so you see at home, him will go for work. We didn't have children then. I would stay, Nangalia kwa Facebook, Naona, eh, people, they are doing it in Zambia. They are doing their own things, and me, I'm just there. I prayed to God. I said, Help me to do something that I'm going to help my husband. Amen? Amen. So I, I called a sister. I said, I want to start making soap. When I make soap, the soap that I'll make, it was not for selling. It was for me to help who? At least I can do something in the home, even if to watch a tukununua sabun. That money for buying soap, we can save it. Cindy? So I started. I called her to teach me. But unfortunately, the Kenyan way, they say, ah, see, you know, this is a company secret. Utanchukulia clients. I said, no problem. I prayed. I went on uh, YouTube. Shule <laughs> ya YouTube, sidiyo. Nikapata videos mbili tatu. I watched, and then I said, okay, I've gotten an idea. I went to town. Eh, nimejua kiswaili. I went to town. I said, I want this and that and that. I bought caustic soda. I bought the things I wanted. I followed the video, I made the soap. The soap did not come out the way I saw in the video. <laughs> now I knew that there is a missing link somewhere. And God wants us to use the frontal lobe. You know, the frontal lobe is a very important part of the brain, of the human brain. So I went down on my knees, I told God, now you'll be my teacher. I don't know how to make this thing, but you are going to teach me. So I started making, I made soap like three times, it backfired. The fourth time, it came out well. And now I can wake up and make soap without thinking. <laughs> and from that time when visitors would come to our place, because I wanted them to have soap, at least they go and use it. I would not sell them. It was just for personal use. So I'll give them, they'll use it. They say, ah, by the way, nilikuwa na pimples. Zimeisha. Nilikuwa na fungal infection. Zimeisha. Sasa atu takuwa tunakuja huku kila wakati unatuzia sabu, unatupatia sabuni ya bure. E una, unanunua his ingredients. Why can't you start selling us? So the business was born from there. Amen? Amen. Right now, as I'm talking to you, there was a very good job opportunity that I was supposed to be employed here in Kenya. But when I look at what I'm doing, and I'll be spending all those hours there, I said no. Because I can use my hands to get the same money that they'll be paying me and frustrating me there. <laughs> so I'm making soap. I'm making lotion. I'm making hair oil. I'm making everything. It has become a big thing. And when I knew how to make, I, I went to caves because I wanted to do things right. Cabs came, they look, they saw how I make, they took some samples, but in Pima, I can patia cabs. So even when you are here, you can do something. I, I usually tell people, if me, I came all the way from Zambia, nikakuja uku, na nikapata market, right now I have like 15 Adventist families that I make soap for them the whole year. Oh. <laughs> So, God has given us that capacity. As Adventists, we are so privileged. This knowledge that we have, it is so much that if you put your mind on something, even as a student, you can have a little money that sikila wakatu natumia, unapigia wazazi. Sina, sina credo. Hello? Ah, nimelala nja. No, 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 no. At least you can do something small. Sindio? Just something small that can sustain you. That's why you're looking at time, value of money. Sasa, do you have a pointer or I have to? Or you can do for me there. Okay. So, when you're looking at this, we are going to look at that very fast because time is money. Sindio? Yes. So, wakatunangalia as students. I know, I, I was a student at one time. I've passed through this life. I know the challenges that we have. Sindio, maybe it's mebadilika. But they are still the same. We need money for our personal small, small things. Sindio? Yes. yes. 
So at least do something with your hands. That's why God has blessed us. All of us have, at least I've not seen someone who doesn't have hands here. All of us we have, Cindy. Yes. So if you have hands, you have eyes, you have the mental capacity. You can come up with something. At your own free time, even if in five minutes, you can do something. And make, even if it's 50 bob, it will make a difference. Cindy, yes. Just start small. By the time you'll be graduating, Utapata, you have something to do. Time, it's very important. You can put for me. You see that verse? It's what? Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. It says, to every... Uh -huh. Yes. To every season, there's a time and a purpose, a purpose, or a purpose. Okay, a purpose, a purpose, <laughs> sour, sour. To everything, there's a what? There's a time and a purpose for everything. So right now, this is your time. You are in school. Do what brought you here. Cindy, yes, this is a time. It's a precious time that you have. You should not handle relationship. I've gone to universities where Baunapata a lady is even washing clothes for a fellow student, a man. And you're not married. That is time that you're wasting. And the time that you waste, you never call it back. Sindio, we have to be practical. There is no way to answer kusoma biblia na vitu zinatusumbua tunachana nazo. Sindio? Yes. You came here for studies. This is a time for you to study. Do your best. And whatever you're going to do, put your mind on it. Make sure that you pass vizuri. So that wakati utatoka hapa, you go to a next level. And that will be another phase of life. Sindio? Yes. You find someone is here, anataka kuolewa hapa. You spend your time in relationships. At the end of the day, next week ukona exam. Uyo, sijui ni boyfriend, sijui ni nani, anakudamp. You end up failing your exams. Ye ya mefanya nini? I'm a Peter and I'm in the life. Where well, we now, that time that you, you are going to be here for another what? For another one year. Because you did things at the wrong time. You came here, all of you here, you came here to study. Cindy, kukona muta, tukuja kuole wapa? Oh, tukuja ku... There are people who are married, yes? That's another, it's an exemption, Cindy. And there are few. But majority of us here, tumekuja kusoma. This is our first degree, sindio? Yes. Kukona wengine, ndio wameolewa, but wamekuja tu kuongezea masomo. How is of it was wasumbui? Sindio? Because they are already married. But sisi, wengi wetu hapa. This is the time for us to study. Let's study. And let's do our best. Sindio? Sasa wakati unangalia pale, inasema, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Hii si King James. Sindio? Ehe. Sasa mungu Money, simbaya. Pesa, simbaya. Sindio? Yes. That's why the verse to the nayo. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 12. It says, it says what? Wisdom is a defense. So is money. You are here because your parents, in one way or the other, walipata pesa ya kukuleta hapa. There are some of our friends who did well in school, walitoka na A, but they are still languishing there because wazazi awana pesa na watu kupata bazari. Sindio? Yes. So when we are here, we know that for us to be here, there is someone who is footing money for us to be here. How are we spending time? So this money that we are talking about, pesa simbaya, but when you love money, ndiye meleta most of the people into problems. Right now, there are young people that we met the other Sabbath, there was a program for youths and we attended. Young people, they came out, they came with very posh cars. And when you ask them, the whole day they are on the computer. At Wanafanya Forex. Forex ni nini? They are trading. But wengine wanafuata na DCI. Naonu wa sabato. You know, that's now, you are taking that to another level. This is not what we are supposed to be as Adventists. God has given us so much wealth of knowledge. Why should you be wanakufuata ukona garimzuri umepaki pale, but unaugopa DCI? 
Kwa sababu hiyo kazi unafanya si kazi mzuri. Si ndio? Na Mungu ametuonya. That's why amesema we have to be good stewards. Time, mental faculty, na nini nyingine? Na money, finance. And when you get that money in a good way, kupatia Mungu, ku, ku, kurudishia Mungu tithe, it won't be a problem. But if you are being followed by DCI, do you think that money you are going to return tithe? What are you going to do? Unaogopa hata ku return tithe, si ndio? Kwa sababu unajua hii pesa ni ya uizi. Mtu anakaa kwa computer the whole day. Unapata ti pesa imepotea equity. Nani amechukua? <laughs> e watu wengi wamepoteza pesa equity. Mtu tu anakaa kwa computer kwa kwa nyumba anafanya one two three things. Wamepata rupo, mtu mwingine account yake, pesa yote imefanya nini? Imeenda. Mungu ataki tukue hivyo. When we study here, we are here to study, to acquire knowledge. And when we acquire this knowledge, when we go out there, let's use this knowledge that we've acquired for the glory of God. Amen? Amen. Yes. So, there it says, for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. But the excellence of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. When you are here, you are acquiring what? Knowledge. Are you acquiring wisdom here? Probably. The Bible says who gives wisdom? Yes. It says that the fear of God is the beginning of what? Of wisdom. So when we fear God, definitely God is going to bless us with wisdom. Amen? Because there are people who have PhD, but they don't have wisdom. Ndiyo wame acquire ii yote hapa dunia, but someone will tell you that there is no God. And this person is highly educated. They are saying, prove that there is a God somewhere. If you can't prove God in a lab, then he does not exist. Because that person doesn't have wisdom. The, the Bible says, a fool says in his heart that there is no God. So when someone tells you that there is no God, just know that one is a what? A fool. He doesn't have wisdom. Next, please. This is the Garden of Eden. Who is that one? Adam and Eve. Is this before sin or after sin? Uh -huh. What happened after sin? Yes. They were chased out of the Garden of Eden. And they went out there. Next. We are looking at Abram and Lot. What made them to separate? Wealth. It's not conflict. But it's not conflict. But kwa, si pesa, in terms of flock, sindio? Yeah. Their flock was too much such that our easy car up moja. Because u e is condoza hours na kula apa, condos guinness na kula apa, and then that brought conflict. So in the Bible we have examples of people who were so wealthy and who were God fearing. So you can be very wealthy and God fearing. But it does not mean that when you are poor, you're not God fearing. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Sindio? Yes, because let's not take it to, other, to, the, to the other extreme. Sindio? When you look at Isaac and Abimelech, what made Abimelech to chase Isaac? He was multiplying. He had so much wealth, such that the king of that land said, no, 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 you've become too powerful. You have to leave this place. So, you are, we are seeing that God is the one who gives us the power of wealth. Without God, we can do our very best. But when God is not in it, everything comes to zero. Sindio? Yes. So whatever we are doing, whether we are studying, whether we are eating, whether we are working, let's do it to the glory of God. Sindio? First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, it says, Wherefore, whether ye eat or drink, or whatsoever you do, do it to the glory of God. There's another quotation that I love, which is, it should constantly and always remind us. It says, prayer. So you can have all those things, but when you don't pray, what will happen? If you don't pray, what will happen? You will study the Bible, unafungua tu bibiria unasoma, but you don't pray. What will happen to your life? 
You cease doing both, isn't you? Yes. So in a same, a prayer is the only, is the, is heaven's ordained means of success in the conflict with sin and the development of Christian character. So prayer is heaven's ordained means of success in the conflict with sin and the development of Christian character. So if you, if, 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 if your character, aiko vizuri, unaona hapa, ninasumbuka. I spend the whole day on social media. I think you try good. I think Thursday. Stack you kwenda uko sana. Look at your prayer life. How much do you pray? How much do you spend even reading the word of God? I know we are busy here, but at least you can have your personal devotion. Sindio, my God and I. Sindio, apart from Sabbath, you have my God and I. So wakati tunangalia hapo, Inasema nini? So most of the time, you find that what wanajikamfort na yo. Vesu wanasema apana, you know wakatutakuwa tajiri. It is very difficult for you to enter the kingdom of God. But as the Bible says that it is easier for a poor man to enter the kingdom of God. No, it doesn't. Because if it is difficult for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. What about a poor man? <laughs> to appear the poor. <laughs> you see now, when you are going to bed with an empty stomach, what will happen to you? Are you going to study the word of God and understand? There is a prayer that David prayed. Is it David or Solomon? Solomon. He said that, give me enough. Usininime, meaning, nisikuwe maskidi that my, 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 my children should be begging for bread. Sindio? Na nisikuwe tajiri sana such that nikusahau. Sindio? Yes. So God wants us. He can bless us. Just like the people that we read from the Bible. Sindio? Yes. But he will bless us in the right way. And there's a text in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 which says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So to every blessing that God has given us, there's a condition. So when you're looking at stewardship, kama mungu atanipatia pesa, there's a condition for me to attain for God to do that. Sindio? Yes. Mungu ananiangalia, nimeomba, I want V8. Nikona pesa ya kuweka mafuta kwa V8. You are right here, you are saying, God, please bless me with V8. Will God answer that prayer? Oh, Naomba, Mungu, please give me a plane. I want to have an airplane so that in a talk up, ninaenda maali kokote nataka. Is God going to answer that prayer? Because God knows what is best for us. Sindio? When we seek his kingdom and his righteousness, what is righteousness? Right doing. Sindio? So while we are here, Let's do our very best by God's grace because on your own, you cannot do it. God is the only one who can enable us to do that which is right. Without God, even what we think we are doing right is as filthy rags. So when it comes to time, money, and mental faculty, the first thing that we have to do is to put God first. Sindio. When you wake up in the morning, what do you do first? What do you think about first? The moment you open your eyes. Alam, okay, alam imekuwa musha. Nini ninafanyika? What do you think? Do you pray or do you rush to go and bath? Unangalia umechelewa class? You have to go to class? Or do you have your personal devotion before you go out there? Sindio? So it will depend on who is here. Sindio? Because the battle is for the mind. Kama mungu wa meketi hapa, he's going to order your steps. There is a prayer in Psalms 119, verse 139 or 133. Apo. Inasema, order my steps in your word and let not iniquity have dominion in me. Is it 133, Psalms 119? Is it 133 or 139? I think it's 133. Sindio? 133, Sindio? Yes. That's a prayer that God, when you wake up in the morning, you ask God to order your steps. 
and let not iniquity have dominion in you or in me. And when you ask God to do that, God is just going to do that. Sindio, atakusaidia. You are not going to do something that is not going to please God. When you are looking at that verse, it's talking about the talents. And these are the talents that we are talking about. In a same manini, for the kingdom of heaven is as a man. Mm -hmm. His goods. So God has given us what? Goods. He has given us goods. Imagine the same day you were born, there's someone who was born the same day and they are no more. They slept the sleep, the sleep of death. There are others who are born and awaku awako sawa. Sindio. We have our friends, we meet them. Maybe Adivuta Bangi Sana and Atembe Apo. Sindio. Yes. When Guinea they are doing they are in jail. And we are born at the same when you look at you go to prison right now. Utapata waze sana oko anatembe ananini. Utapata watu. Which age is there? Vijana, Sindio? Yes. So for us to be here, we should thank God that by his grace we made it this far. It's not that we are too intelligent that we are here. It's not that we are too good before God that we are here. It's just the grace of God that has sustained us thus far. Sindio? Yes. So in a same manini, and unto one he gave the other one and the other one and the other one <laughs> look look at you <laughs> you are reading there and you, i'm telling and another word you are continuing and there are only three talents sidio alipatia na tu watu wangapi na biblia inasema to him that much is given much is required so as we are here all these things that we've heard from god all the things that we know as Seventh-day Adventist, kwanzia mambo ya afya, when it comes to stewardship, when it comes to family life, when it comes to uh, sanctuary message, all these things God is going to require because we've been given much. So much is expected of us. If there are people in this institution who are supposed to be peculiar people, it's us. Because we have much than other people that are here other students. Sindio, there's so much that we know than other people. So God, because he has given us much, he's expecting much back. Sindio, yes. So when you're looking at those talents, they were given. But moja alifanya nini? Alizika, Sindio, how many of us have we buried our talents? Tulikuja hapa, tukakua background. Atutaki kuonekana. How many of us? Atutaki kuimba kwa, ka, kwa kwaya. Even kuimba. It's a talent. Sindio? Yes. There's someone who cannot preach. There's someone who cannot uh, end a door to door. But there's someone who can sing. That's why there's a song which says, Hark the voice of Jesus calling. Who will go and work today? Fields are wide, the harvest waiting. Who will tear the sheaves away? Wild and long, the master calleth. Rich reward he offers free. Who will ask? So gladly saying, He am I, O Lord, send me. Stanza tu inasema nini? While the souls of men are dying, and the master calls for you, let none hear you idly saying, There is nothing I can do. If the task he gives you, let his rod your pleasure be. Answer quickly when he calleth. He am I, O oh Lord, send me. Stanza three. Inasema nini? 
If you cannot be the ocean and the heathens lands explore, you can tell the love of Jesus. You can say he died for home. If you cannot be like angels, if you cannot preach like Paul, you can tell the love of Jesus. You can say he died for all. So if you cannot preach like Paul, if you cannot speak like angels, you can still do something. The Bible says, we are all written epistles. Before you speak, someone will look at you and they will have a message to tell about you. The moment I came here, I saw students here. At least I have an idea of how these people are. Sindio? Atujaongea na nyinyi, but wakati nilifika hapa, nikaangalia, nikajua ni watu gani nitaongea nao. Sindio? Yes, because Mungu Ametutuma hapa, and we are written epistles. And God is going to ask us. There is a time that I sent you to upper kabete. Wengine tuko lower kabete, sindio? And all these universities where we are coming from, God is going to ask us. There is a time I sent you there. What did you do? Are we representing God here? Christ Object Lesson says, when the image of Christ shall be fully reviewed in us, then he's going to come and claim and take us home. So why has Jesus not come? Because his image is not fully seen in us. Because of what? Sin. Atwezi jitakasa sisi wenyewe. But with God, there's nothing that is impossible. Sindio? Take one step at a time. God will lead you. Sindio? Yes. So when we are talking about stewardship, to siangalie sana pesa, everything that God has blessed us with, we have to be stewards. It be time, it be our mental faculty, it be finance. J, wakatumepati wa pocket money. Unakuja uku. Do we remember to remove God's tithe? Or to naona yo pesa, it's not enough. What happens? Say, hey, after all, you see me, God will understand. There are many people who say, ah, mungu ataelewa. Nilikuwa nanja. God will understand. But we know that when we do that, even that little that we have, we don't even know how we've used it. Sindio? But when we put God first, God is going to do everything that we need and is going to help us and is going to bless us. We can go to the next This is our blessed hope. All of us here seated, we are waiting for this. Sindio? Mm -hmm. But for us to meet God in peace, just like the pastor was preaching, most of us, we are fearful of this day. Because even the Bible says that. Malachi. Malachi inasema nini? Inasema that, great, that day will be what? It will be terrible. Sindio? It will burn like a what? A furnace. Sindio? Yes. Watu wengi wakati tunasema the second kama anasema ah usiharakishe kukuja kwa Yesu. Hakuna haja. Bado tuko na vitu mingi za kufanya. But the coming of Christ is imminent. He is coming ready or not. Sindio? Yes. When we are indulging ourselves in sin, there are people who are sighing and crying that Mungu watakase. So, in the fullness of time because God he does everything on time. The Bible says at, in the fullness of time, Christ was done, was born. And at the fullness of time, Christ died and went to heaven. And in the fullness of time, Christ is going to come back. Whether you are ready or not, when the time comes, he's going to come and take us home. The question is, are you going to, meet, to be among those who, who are going to receive Christ in peace? This says what? So those who are writing, we can write that about time. We are going to look at just one quotation of each. It says, our time belongs to who? God. Every moment is his. And we are under the most solemn obligation 
to improve it to his glory. Of no talent he has given will he require a more strict account than of our time. So anasema of no talent. Is the talent zota metupatia. The talent that is going to ask us to give an account strictly is what? Is time. Twenty next. Next, next, next. Upper. The value of time is beyond. Christ regarded every moment as precious. And it is thus that we should regard it. Life is too short to be trifled away. We have but a few days of probation while to prepare for eternity. So, the way Christ regarded time, it's the way we should regard time as well. So, tutaenda, turuke, tuende kwa hiyo ingine. Let's just go, I'll tell you. Yes, just go. Just go. Huh? Inasema aje yapo? We are admonished to do what? To redeem the time. But time squandered can never be recovered. We cannot call back every, even one moment. So every time we are on social media, on TikTok, on YouTube, on Facebook, on whatever, we know that that time that we are spending there, we can never call it back. So at least we should have time for everything. Cindy? Yes. Kama tunakaa sana, someone can stay. I've seen a person who will stay the whole day, even four hours. Ako kwa TikTok. When they get the Bible, wakati wanaomba, ata hezi omba one minute. Ananza kusinzia. Anachukua Biblia, anafungua, ananza kusinzia. What does that tell you? That there's a great work to be done. Sindio? Yes. Tuende hiyo ingine. Let's go. We can go. Huh? God also entrusted men with what? Means. He gives them power to get wealth. And what? He waters the earth with dew of heaven and with showers of refreshing rain. He gives what? The sunlight, which does what? Warms the earth and does what? The things of nature and causing them to do what? To flourish and bear fruit. And he asks for of his own. Sindio. So wakati, if we have whatever money that we have, I know we don't have a lot. But the little that we have, it's God who has given us the power to acquire that. That little that we have. Sindio? Yes. Our money has not been given us that we might do what? Honor and ourselves. As faith what? We are? Some? Yes, this is what we are talking about. So some of us, we think that only a portion is for God. But God, everything that we have is his. He just requires kidogo. But even the one that has remained, we should use it for the glory of God. Sindio? Yes, we can go. Mm -hmm. The other one. Before the previous slide. Uh -huh. Money has great value because it can do great good. Sindio? In the hands of God's children, it is food for the hungry, drink for the thirsty, and clothing for the naked. It is what? A defense for the oppressed. This is Ecclesiastes. We are reading Ecclesiastes 7, 12. Sindio? It says that money is a what? A defense. Uh -huh. And means to help the sick, but money uh -huh. Uh -huh. Only in blessing others and advancing the cause of God. So, when you're looking at money, if it is not doing good to your fellow humanity, it is worth nothing. It is saying it is as good as what? Sand. So, God has given us an opportunity to have that money so that we can use it for his glory. Sindio? Yes. Let's help out. The little that we have, if you share, God is going to give you much. Sindio? But if you are like a keto, a keto, keto, a keto is what in Kiswahili? Birika, birika, sindio? 
When you are pouring water in the kettle, iko na mdomo kubwa, si ndio? you people. When you are putting water, do you, can you compare where you put water from and where you, you pour a chai from? You know when you are pouring chai, the kettle is so stingy, si ndio? Inakupatia tu so much. But when you are putting, where you put water, it's wide. You can even put the whole cup. Sindio? But when you are pouring, ina, ina shimondogo kuliko ile unaeka maji. Sindio? Yes. God wants us not to be like that. He wants us to be a blessing to others. Where you can help. Always yenda rafiki yako amni mgonjwa, ana chakula hapo kwa room. Uko na something, alafu nasema mungu atakusaidia. How have you helped that person? Kitu anataka, Ndiyo maombi anataka, but the immediate need ni nini? Ni chakula. So if you can, help out first chakula, and then hizi vitu zingine stafanya nini? Stafuata. Sasa when you are looking at mental faculty, if there's a study that I love so much, it's a study of the brain. Because the way God has created the brain, mutu alitengeneza hiyo laptop tunatumia, he just got just a fraction of what the brain can do. Now, when they were doing research, they said that 99% of people banakufa bila kutumia at a half your brain, the capacity. Inanu umewai sikia ati alikuwa ati the brain imeja anti akuna mali kwa kweka vitu zingine. Have you ever heard? Someone can have PhDs and PhDs and PhDs. The nano is scared capacity, it is full. Haezi eka kitu ingine. Akuna, sindio. So the capacity of the brain, it can hold so much. It's only that us, we restrict it. Because maybe we, are, we don't want to, to tax ourselves. And you know that there's only one exercise for the brain. Andi alimiambia subui. Alimiambia. Ali miambia exercise ya brain? Ati badu ajasebo. Ngino mesema, mm, alisema nini? <laughs> There's only one exercise for the brain. And that exercise, it's by memorizing the word of God. Yes. When you start memorizing the word of God, you exercise your brain cells. Izi vitu zingine za shule, zitakuwa raisi kujua. Kama kukona subject na kusumbua, Anza kumemorize Bible text. Uambie mungu akusaidie. The more you are memorizing, even if wanze tuna nusu Bible. Nusu, si nusu Bible? <laughs> nusu scripture. <laughs> Kwa sababu nusu Bible it will be too much. Half a scripture, sindio? We said what? Uanze tu Jesus wept. Iyo tu? Unanzia tu iyo. The simplest, Jesus wept. And the more you are going to exercise your brain, the better. Sindio? And that is the only thing that can, can help us be good even in these other things. To Naso Maile, I'm seeing the time is almost, and we thank God we are here. God requires the training of the mental faculties. He designs that his servants should possess more and what? And what than the wildlings. So when we are here, what does God require? To have a clear discernment and understanding than what? The worldlings. And he is displeased when we do what? With those who are too careless and too indolent to become what? Efficient, well-informed workers. So when we are here, if we do not do our part faithfully, we displease God. Kama umepatiwa tax, task, hapa kulikuwa umepatia na mwingine alikuwa naeka tent, wengine manakuwa na leta viti, wengine manakuwa nafanya nini. Whatever you do, do it as if that is the last thing that you are going to do here. That is what God requires of us. To be a steward is to do everything faithfully to the best of your knowledge. I want to leave you with this thought. When Jesus rose, Early Sunday morning, Mary Magdalene, akaalia, aka, akaona Yesu, aka mongeresha. Akaenda, he, she went and told the disciples that Jesus has done what? 
has risen. People could not believe. The disciples could not believe. When you read Desire of Ages, in Asema Peter, Balikimbia, they went to the, to the grave. See They entered, and when Peter looked at the bed where they laid him, he saw the way the clothes were folded. He knew that Jesus has risen. Why? Whatever Jesus was doing was to the best of his knowledge. Kufodi tunguo. Kufodi tunguo zile alikuwa mamemzika nazo. Haka zitoa. Haku wacha tuwa tamiamuka meacha hivo. Kama sisi wengine tunamuka asubui. Tunafungua blangeti. Tunaacha hivo. Tunaeka tu viba viba. Tunakimbia class. No, 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 no. Mutu wakati amekuja rumu yako anaangalia anasema hapa panalala mkristu. Sindio? Ataangalia beti ya mwingine anasema eh hey, huyu huyu hapana. Yes. So I'm, I want to leave you with this thought. Imagine just folding the clothes, the, gra the grave clothes showed that Jesus has done what? Has risen. Because to him everything that he was doing, he was doing it diligently. So may God help us. And may God bless us that as we are here, let's spend this time that God has given us to be here for his glory. As we are acquiring knowledge to advance our lives, let's also advance the cause of God. May God bless us. Amen. Amen. I hope Sijakula time. Good. I'm on time. Thank you.